Hi Thelma, how you doing? I decided to just send you a video because it was so elaborate and so long. I didn't want to type it all. I wrote it out so that I could um, tell you about it. And I didn't want to have to write it out again and type it. So what I did was I did a card reading, a tarot card reading for him. And I also uh, used my pendulum and asked some questions too. So uh, let me do the cards for the pendulum first. Uh, first thing I asked my spirit guide is, is Michael doing drugs? And I got the answer no. And I said, um, will things get better soon for Michael? Is he going to be okay? And it said yes. And um, I asked, does Michael need his mother's help? Does Thelma need to help him? And it said no. And I asked, does Michael need Tony's help? Does he need to help him? And it said, no, no. So um, <clears throat> I asked if Michael would um, meet the person that he was going to spend the rest of his life with within the next six months. And it said, no. I said, will he meet somebody in the next year? And it said, no. Not, not the person that he's going to spend his life with. He might meet somebody, but not the person that he's going to spend the rest of his life with. And it said, in two years, Michael will meet the person that he'll spend the rest of his life with. Um, and I ask, is it going to be a happy and stable relationship? And it kind of starts out rocky. It, it's a little bit rocky in the beginning, but it will get more stable with time. So... It might have a shaky start, but it's going to be a good, stable relationship. But that's about two years away. And I asked if, if this relationship will have children in it, and it said no. Um, so um, around June 2019, uh, Michael's whole situation will turn around and be mightily improved. He will be super super doing super super good but it's not till next summer it's about 10 months away because michael's got a lot of work to do i know he's probably done a lot of work already but he still has a lot of work to do so <clears throat> the first card that i got for him it's uh it's the seven of wands and it was upside down it says um michael feels like he's unable to make any decisions on which way to go but he really needs to make a decision. Um, any, deci any decision that he makes is better than what he's doing now. He's not making any decision now. So um, anything that he does is better than what he's doing now. So he needs to make a decision on the situation that he's doing. And then the next one is a page of wands. This is a person, um, it, it's a younger person than Michael. It, He's talking a lot of crap to Michael, and he's causing problems. Michael shouldn't trust him, and Michael should keep his distance from him, because he's just he's just a problem. So my advice is stay away from him. And let's see, we have the Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups upside down, and this indicates Michael's trying to run away from his problems. Things haven't worked out the way he wanted them to, uh, and he doesn't want to give the situation a second chance. If he doesn't face up to his problems, um, he'll regret it later on. So he really needs to do that. And then he got the Nine of Swords. And uh, this person, see, he's crying. He's, laying, he's on the bed crying. So uh, Michael's depressed. And he's having trouble sleeping. He's probably having bad dreams. Um, he has um, deep repressed issues that are trying to surface. They're coming to the surface. And that's good because he needs to deal with them. They need to come to the surface and he needs to deal with them once and for all. He's being mentally tortured. But once he finally deals with them, it'll change his attitude and his beliefs for the better so it'll be good for him let's see what else we got here uh, this is the king of pentacles now um, 
this represents a man that Michael's dealing with, and he's an untrustworthy man. And um, he'll soon be out of Michael's life, though. He doesn't have to worry about it. This is an untrustworthy man that he's on the way out. Uh, I don't know if Michael's already done it with them or what, or if he broke off with them or anything, but he's on the way out. He's fading away. He's almost, he's done. So, and then you got the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, this, this woman will, I don't know if she, who she is, but she will come into Michael's life. I don't know if she already is. She is a wealthy woman. She has money and she wants to try to control Michael and she, she will control him with, um, her wealth, you know, she'll dangle, I guess, a carrot in his face or something, but she's not really to be trusted. She is really pretending to help him, but she's not really helping him at all. So she's just trying to manipulate him in the situation. So he needs to be wary of this lady. All right. And the next card that he got is the devil. Now, the devil doesn't mean Satan, doesn't mean anything that you would think. This is, um, if you look at him, these, these guys are chained together and everything. And this means that uh, Michael feels trapped. He feels chained and trapped. He doesn't think he has any control on the situation and whatever's happening in his life. But he needs to examine. Again, it goes back to his attitudes and his beliefs. He needs to go back and examine them. There's no quick fix on it. He has to really, it's going to take a lot of tough work because it's, um, it's the inner soul work that he has to really, really work on. So it's going to take time. There's just no quick solution. But he can, he will be successful and he will, he will do it. He'll do it. But that's just what's, what he's going through right now. Okay. And then, um, he got the full card. The full card is, um, this is a, a young person that's easy going, doesn't have any worries, but this is upside down. So this is not the time to go on a new adventure, to try new things, and just try to not have worries about anything. No, this is a time you need to worry about everything. You need to um, not try new things. What you're doing now, keep doing it. Keep working at it. What That old expression, keep your day job, that's what he needs to do. Keep on keeping on. He's on the right track. He needs to keep at it, even though it's it's really uncomfortable and hard. It's hard work, but he's he needs to do it. So don't, don't try anything new. Don't try to go run off and have a vacation. Don't try to, you know, change your life up and do, you know, crazy things. It's not the time to do new things like that, so... And then he got the Ten of Cups. And this was upside down. So this is a delay in happiness. There's a delay um, or his happiness is blocked or delayed. Um, this is a circumstance that's beyond his control. He just has to wait it out and know that things are going to change. This just It's a delay, but it doesn't mean that things aren't going to get better because they are. They're going to get better. And the last card that he got is the Ten of Swords. And this is reversed. And this looks scary because it, it looks like a dead person being stabbed to death. But this is the death of old ways. This is the death of how things were. So this means it's a new beginning. So this is a good card. This is the beginning of a new cycle, but it was upside down. Almost all his cards were upside down except for one. This is an upside down card, so the beginning um, of a new cycle is being delayed because Michael's holding back. Uh, he doesn't want to take the necessary uh, steps to move forward to the new cycle. He's just, you know, trying to make excuses. Um, He's just prolonging his agony. He's prolonging it, and he needs to just make a choice. It comes back to that again. Make a choice. What is it that you want? Make that choice. Stick with it. And go ahead 
and start a new cycle. But you've got to break it from break from the old patterns. What is it, Kai Kai? It's okay. So I hope that helps you. And I'm going to send this to you now. I hope it helps. Sorry it took so long for me to do it, but I'm not that great at it. So I have to kind of read a little bit what, what some of the cards I'm not com completely familiar with. So I have to kind of look them up. But uh, that's the reading, and I hope that helps him or helps you. Things are going to get better. They will. He just has to work at it. So take care, sweetie. Love you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.